afternoon to you all. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. On behalf of the Department of Commerce, I would like to welcome our honorable uh, professor, Dr. Gesh Ganapati sir, to deliver a special art, special address on this session. This is the last session of this uh, ICSSR sponsored program on data analytics and research methodology. On behalf of the Department of Commerce, I would like to extend a welcome to all the participants. Once again, I welcome you all. Now, may I request and invite the Honorable Professor Dr. Ganapati sir to deliver a special address on this session, sir. Please, sir, welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Very good afternoon to all of you. I am very happy met you in the second stay held by me. This is the last session in the last day for the capacity building program on data analysis and research methodology in social science organized by the department of commerce alagappa university and sponsored by icssr new delhi i once again i good afternoon to all of you the last session i talk about data collection technique data collection technique first we know the data first we know the data data is refers to the fact or in figures or an information collected by the specific purpose the fact to figure information collected for the purpose of not only for the research but also for any other purposes in the sense of research data is a sheet for growing research tree there is no data the data is non availability the data is irrelevant the researcher not move the next step the data is very much important for each and every process of execution of research the data is a source of input for making research output this is a source of input for making a research output so there is no data there is no research the data is classified in two categories there are two types primary data another one secondary data primary data and another secondary data the all the research output execution and completion whether it is the data primary nature or secondary natures primary nature or secondary natures the entire data is classified according to two categories the primary data and the secondary data first you know the primary data everybody you know the primary data the primary data are those which are new and original in nature 
that is your first hand information the primary data is your first hand information generated to achieve the purpose of research generated and achieve the purpose of research the primary data is no the existing one all the primary data is a new one those data is original nature it is in a first hand informations for examples the data relating to the populations collected by the enumerators for the government are primary data the government to collect the population census population census that is a one example of primary data the primary data also involves some of the merits and demerits that is some advantages and disadvantages what are those advantages of the primary data the primary data is the first are new information there is no existing one there is no existing one that is a first hand informations these are the original natures original in natures the another one advantage is more reliable one the primary data is more reliable one compared to the secondary data the data reformulated in such a manner which is best suit for the purpose so these are the primary data is reformulations they formulated even one examples the primary data for korea uh, process of primary data for coding of primary data and tabulating the primary data and editing the primary data so these are all the possibility of reformulations of primary data there are some disadvantages or demerits the primary data is more time and money consuming the researcher to trace the respondent for spend some money and take a time take a time so the primary data to take a time consuming and money spend money spent another one is that one is yes it is comparatively very very good even one examples the primary data is collected comparatively very vague even the second data is to be collected as a desktop that is not possible for any collection of primary data so the primary data is comparatively very vague then move to secondary data secondary data that is another one important source of conducting a research the secondary data are those data which are not new one or not a original in nature not new one and original nature these are the data to be existing one existing one those data to be available in a structured form in a structured forms this data is obtained from published or unpublished sources all the secondary data is a published and unpublished sources for example if we use the data relating to the populations which is published by the government the population census is conducted by the government every 10 years those data is available in the government website 2000 11 census 2001 census so these are the data to be already there in the government records or should be there in a government website so these are the data is a secondary data there are some advantages there are some advantages of the secondary data 
the secondary data is less expensive as it already available in the complete format so there is a there is in the structured format it should be easily collected by the researcher even in the test of from the government website or any other company website or any other agency website agency website all those data to be collected in a structured format so that is your first advantage of the secondary data another one the data collections can be finished quickly so the completions of collections of data for in a stipulated time by the researcher stipulated by the researcher so that is the completions of finishing of the collections of data is quickly compared to the primary data compared to the primary data when it is difficult to collect the data relating to the particular field the particular field studies is not possible through the secondary data we can use the secondary data for the research purpose the secondary data is cover the wider geographical area and longer reference period may be covered within the much cost on the much cost that is another one advantages then there are some disadvantages of secondary data the secondary data only collected by the researcher they have to spend some money they have to spend some money they have to <coughs> approach the officially say by very well the one the source of information is collected not published by the agency not published by the companies these are the some disadvantage advantages advantages are there in secondary data the next move to sources of collecting primary data what are the sources for collecting primary data how collect the primary data what are the tool to be applied by the researcher for the primary data collections the primary data are classified into four categories the collections of primary data is classified in four categories first one observation methods the observation methods that is the one of the foremost tool of data collection technique another one interview interview methods the interview method is further sub classified into two categories personal interview and telephone interview the third one methods are technique of data collections mailed questionnaires mailed questionnaire methods the fourth one technique of data collections through schedules methods through schedules methods so these are the primary data collection technique by the researcher whether any four categories of data collection technique any four categories of collection technique then sources of secondary data how do you trace the secondary data the first way from the government sources government sources these are the informations collected by the researcher for any government website or government records they have to trace the informations then first number 1 g return that is a government returns government returns the government they have to present and publish the reports even one examples the economic survey published by the central government before the union budget before the union budget so g returns then hot start the government hints 
the hot start hot start means hints the hints of the government records the hints of the government records that is another one important sources of secondary data from the government secondary data from the government the third one government gazette government gazette the government gazette records to be there for the available information that is the keep up by the government then census reports the government they have to conduct the census report for the population growth and strength population growth these are the census report to be conducted by the government for every 10 years every 10 years then rbi report reserve bank of india report then these are the report to be regarding the indian economic trends then economic trend these are the informations collected by the researcher from the report of rbi from the report of rbi the report of nn nss uno iim imf ilo world health organizations and the world banks so these are all the organization these are all the agency they have to publish periodically for the year performance of activities the researcher they have to trace these types of reports relating to the research work collected the secondary data collected the secondary data so these are all the some sources of government informations government informations then private documents the secondary data from the private documents the private document is a another one important sources for secondary data number one life history the life history of the individuals even one examples in historical studies the personal profile 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 of the former emperors in india former emperors of the world these are the related data from the life history then diaries the diaries is another one important authenticated evidence data relating to the secondary nature the hints of the diary is the important evidence for execution of research by the researcher then letters the private letters the another one authenticated evidence for collecting informations by the researcher then memories the memories the recalling the memories the information is collected by the researcher the data relating to the secondary nature then annual reports the annual report is published by every year by the every business organizations or agencies or ngos the data collected by the researchers these th these types of data from the secondary sources from the annual report from the annual report then sixth one financial statement of companies the each and every companies they have to publish the financial statement for every annual general meeting for every annual general meeting the researcher to know the informations for the performance of your company from the financial statement of from the financial statement then public documents the sources of public documents both published or unpublished both published or unpublished then public documents of number one journals the publisher they have to publish various journals for each and every domain 
those journals are national nature or international natures the researcher they have to collected and review for relating to the first studies for collecting the journals is another one evidential informations in a public document the next one newspaper the newspaper is daily newspaper fortnightly newspaper monthly newspaper so these are the newspapers another one important evidential in the secondary nature of data then radio and televisions radio and televisions these are another one authentical evidence for the secondary data then cinema films cinema films the public speech so these are all the source of informations collected by the researcher in the secondary nature of data secondary nature of data then different method of collections of primary data different method of collecting the primary data the primary data can be collected by the either the following ways through experiment or through survey there are two way there are two way by the researcher for collecting primary data whether it is experimented or survey experimented or survey then through experiment how to collect the data through the experiment under this method the researcher examine truth contained in his hypothesis by conducting the experiment through which the data are collected through which the data are collected the truth of the study we have to make framing the hypothesis framing the hypothesis relating to the objectives of the research relating to the objectives of the research so these are the experimental method to be collecting primary data for examples the investigation generally conducted by the police department the investigation is conducted by the police department to map the murder in a experimental method of data so the police department they have to trace the possibility of murder what are the reason for incurring a murder so these are all the method the experiment method should be taken by the police for tracing the murder tracing the murder so these are all the possibility of murder what are the reason for incurring a murder so these are all the police department they have to use the experiment method experiment methods then survey methods the survey method of collection of data is a field study or field oriented study the main purpose the main features of the survey is discovery of facts discovery of fact the discovery of data the fact may be related to any field like marketing unemployment labor of conditions and the like so these are the study that is a social science based research social science based research then first observational methods observational methods then observation methods that is a first tool for tool or technique of data collections primary data collections this method refers to collections of informations by the way of investigator on own observations without interviewing the respondents the researcher itself for observing and collecting the informations without interviewing the respondents there is no interactions between the researcher and the respondent no interaction between the researcher and the respondent so these are all the method for observation methods for examples in a study relating to the consumer brand preference as to the televisions 
the investigator can simply observe the consumer behaviors the investigator to observing the consumer behavior by standing in the in the shop so that is a one of the important examples of observation methods <coughs> there are some merits there are some merits methods number 1 subject bias is eliminated in observation method accurate the bias is eliminated in observation methods the accurate data is collected by the researcher through the observation the current and latest information relating to the study relating to the study area can be obtained can be obtained that is another one important merits of the observation methods then respondent cooperation is not necessary the respondent cooperation is not necessary the observation methods there is no interactions between researcher and respondent there is not necessary for the cooperations not necessary for the cooperations for the observation method of data collections this method is suitable where the respondents are unable to reply the questions in the questionnaires all the informations collected by the researcher itself there is no reply expected by the researcher then there are some limitations it is an expensive methods number 2 only limited informations can be obtained through the observations the elaborate and information is not possible third one the unforeseen factor may affect the investigator observations unforeseen meters the unforeseen unforeseen factors may affect the investigators in observations the next interview as a method of research interview as a method of research how what is interview the face to face conversations between researcher and a respondent that is interview the face to face conversations the face to face conversations between the researcher and a respondent that is another one important data collection technique the list of questions relating to the proposed study is preferred and answered for these questions are obtained from the respondent the list of questions in a structured format the list of question in a structured formats proposed to proposed to and prepared and answer for these questions are obtained from the respondent this method is called interview methods there are two types of interview methods namely personal interview and telephone interview first you know the personal interview the personal interview is a each and every researcher to use for this type of technique of data collections under this method the questions put to the respondent directly the researcher directly put the question to the consultant meeting with the respondent is adopted that is personal interview methods for example if the study is related to labor absenteeism in a factory a study related to labor absenteeism in a factory the investigator meet the laborers the investigator meet the laborer to directly and ask the questions relating to the absenteeism that is one of the examples of face to face conversations but in certain cases it not possible to contact directly the personal concern in such a case the indirect oral examination is conducted so that is a telephone interview that is a telephone interview then there are some merits of the personal interview it is more information can be obtained by the researcher from the personal interview the information supplied through this method is more accurate the accurate data collected directly from the respondent by the researcher from the 
respondent by the researcher the personal information of respondent can also be obtained not only for the research information but also in the researcher to obtain the personal information about the respondent the language of the communications can be adjusted to the state and education level of the respondent the use of language the respondent the researcher to adjust the education level of the respondent some of the respondents highly qualified some of the respondent moderately qualified some of the respondent illiterate the respondent illiterate the researcher to adjust the level of the respondent which avoid the inconvenience and the misinterpretations on the part of the respondent the sample can be controlled more effectively under the method of personal interview the questions can be restructured based on the need of the primary data collection through the personal interview methods there are some limitations it is an expensive methods the personal interview method is expensive methods the researcher they have to directly meet the each and every respondent depends upon the sample size depends upon the sample size these methods leads to systematic errors these methods the personal interview methods it leads to systematic errors this is another one important limitation some types of respondent may not be easily approachable even one examples the government officials the managing managing level of the companies they are not easily approachable by the researcher the intense in, in, intensive training and the supervisions are required on the part of the investigators part of the investigators the presence of investigator the interviewer and the spot lead the respondent to overwrite some respondent they have to overwrite at the time of interview at the time of interview then telephone entry methods when the answer for the questions are obtained from the respondent through the telephone it is a telephone entry methods the researcher and the respondent not conversing the face to face methods the conversation through the telephone regarding the data relating to the research the researcher directly call to the concerned respondent the required information through the phone that is entry methods it is not a very widely and used methods there are some merits of entry methods less expensive one the entry method of data collection is a less expensive one it is more flexible in nature the entry method of data collection is more flexible in nature there is no field stop is required the researcher itself they collect the information there is no need for the field stop the data can be collected quickly through the telephone in the review there are some limitations the limited coverage of all respondent may not own telephones it is not suitable for intensive survey the telephone methods is not suitable for intensive surveys the questions how to be short or to be in or thin points the each and every question is pin point or in short form or in a short form they how to making the telephone interview then mailed questionnaire methods another one important technique of data collections mailed questionnaire methods under this methods <coughs> the questionnaires that is a list of questions 
framed by the researcher relating to the studies here sent to the respondent by the host sent to the respondent to the structure of list of questions the structure and list of question is sent by the researcher through the host as a request is made to the respondent through covering letters to fill up the questionnaire and send back within the specified time that is a mailed questionnaires before applying these methods a pilot study is conducted which reveals the weakness of question questionnaire if any uh, of the questionnaires this method of collection is used in the various economic and business survey economic and business surveys so these are the mailed questionnaire methods there are some merits there are some merits of mailed questionnaire methods this is that is comparatively less expensive methods the investigator or researcher not directly met to the concerned respondent all those question all those information from the both side through the mail or post mail or post under the mail questionnaire methods the wide coverage is possible wide coverage is possible the respondents are generally given the adequate time for fill up the questionnaires the sufficient time is to be required the sufficient time to be taken under the mail questionnaire method by the respondents in a large samples can be covered and a result are more reliable through the mail questionnaire methods there are some limitations this method can be used to only when the respondent for educated and cooperating the mail questionnaire filled by the respondent itself the respondent must be an education educated one must be an educated the educated only to fill the mail questionnaires that is one of the important limitations of the mail questionnaire methods the bias due to non response is possible the non response questions the answer is sad janin one that is a bias natures bias natures here the omissions and ambiguities is replay are possible omissions and ambiguities replay are possible under the mail question methods and through the intro schedules through the intro schedule methods under these methods the enumerators are appointed and retained the enumerator is a researcher representative the researcher representative is appointed and trained the enumerators are also with the questioner will go to the respondent and fill the answer to the questions obtained from the respondent under these methods the questionnaire is filled by the enumerators or researcher not by the respondent the enumerators for post the questions the answer given by the respondent filled by the enumerators filled by the enumerators under the schedule methods the difference between questionnaire and schedule methods is that under the questionnaire methods the questionnaire is filled by the respondents and in the schedule method the questionnaire is filled by the enumerators for example collections of population census the collections of population census the population census is taken by the teachers the teachers post the question to the household and the information passed by the household and fill up the questionnaire by the teachers the teacher is the enumerators the teacher is a enumerators that is a schedule there are some merits there are some merits it is useful extensive enquiries and leads to fairly reliable results fairly the result through the questionnaire data collection the reliable result fair result to be 
reliable one i say schedule is filled by the enumerators themselves the data are accurate or unambiguous the data is accurate all the data is accurate one the ambiguity ambiguity unambiguity nature then the information can be gathered ever from the illiterate respondents the enumerators they collected not only the data collected from the educator but also illiterates that's so illiterates these are the some merits of the schedules there are some limitations this is a expensive methods the each and every enumerator to directly conduct the potential respondent they time consuming the collections of data through the schedule time consuming and also the adverse effect of the personal presence the adverse effect also possible for the presence of the enumerators in the concerned respondent then steps involved steps involved in the process of construction of schedule and questionnaires what are the steps involved in the for construction of schedule and questionnaires what are the points to be taken into account what are the points to be taken into account for the construction of schedule or questionnaires number 1 data need determinations the each and every researcher what are the required need what are the data is required for the research for the research the preparations of schedule or preparations of questions these are the related question to be included for the preparations of questionnaires the deep analysis of the studies the data relating to the objectives of the studies the data relating to the framed hypothesis so that is the uh, data need determinations in the preparation of schedule and questionnaires then second one point taken into account by the researcher preparation of dummy numbers the preparation of dummy numbers the best way to ensure these requirement to develop the dummy num dummy tables in which the data gathered and displays in which the data on gathered displays that is another one important point to be taken into account by the researcher the next one determinations of respondent levels the covering and uh, preparing the questionnaire the researcher should mind that the determinations of respondent levels first you trace the respondent for the study the respondent is educated the respondent is uneducated the respondent is a visual the respondent is a student the respondent is a employees so these are the taken into account for the preparations of questions in the schedule and the questionnaires so the determinants of respondent level is very much important it is depends upon the questions posed to the potential respondents potential respondents then another one important point selection of data gathering methods selection of data gathering methods what are the method to be adopted by the researcher for selecting the primary data whether it is observation or at the telephone interview or at the personal interview or at the any other methods that is another one important point to be taken into account by the researcher the next is instrument drafting instrument drafting after determining the required data after determining the data data the study broad outline the study broad outline of the instruments as per the objectives of the studies as per the objectives of the data studies the, the all the data to be make the questions relating to the research objectives relating to the 
research objectives another would be important steps evaluations of drafting instruments evaluations of the drafting instrument after preparing the questionnaire or schedules the evaluation process another very important point to be taken into account by the researcher it should be discussed with the experts and a research guide the worthiness of the drafted instruments of questionnaire or schedules drafted instruments of questionnaire or schedules and pre testing the pre testing of questionnaires the pre testing to find out the weakness and the strength of the questionnaires points of the rest uh, questionnaires they have to making a pilot study for tracing the weakness and the strength of the framed questionnaires so that is a pre testing is another one important steps taken into account by the researcher then designing the formats the designing the formats the designing the formats is another one important point taken into account by the researcher the poster questions are either or type or yes or no type or open ended questions or closed ended questions so these are all the format to be framed by the researchers so these are all the point taken into account for the preparations of questionnaire and the schedules then next we are more to factor to be considered for drafting questionnaires what are the factor for influencing factor what are the influencing factor for drafting questionnaires influencing factor for drafting questionnaires number 1 covering letters covering letters at the first page of the questionnaires from the beginning points the researcher to <coughs> make a covering letters for introduce the researcher himself or respondent through the or the part or the purpose of collecting the data all those information to be there in the covering letters the covering letter is a first factor for preparations of questionnaire or schedules the next number of questions how many questions in the structured questionnaires how many questions in the structured questionnaires what are the various types of questions to be involved in the structured questionnaires that is another one important point taken into account by the researcher these are the factor influence in the preparations of questionnaires then sequence questionnaire sequence sequence of questions the sequence of questions in chronological orders or logical orders logical orders based on the objectives of the studies or hypothesis of the studies the sequence is an logical order or chronological orders prepared by the researchers it is another one factor influence for the questionnaire preparations the ambiguity of questions ambiguities the researcher prepare the questionnaire the one questions repeated again these are the avoiding repeated for ambiguity of question is avoided ambiguity of question is avoided that is another one important <coughs> factor to influence the preparation of questionnaires then question should be in short or symbols the each and every question in a structured questionnaire or in a short form or in a symbol form or in a short form or symbol form the researcher poses the questions to the respondent or in short form or in a symbol nature short form or in a symbol nature that is another one important point or important factor for influence the drafting the questionnaires the personal questions the personal questions the personal question is another one important factor influencing factor for drafted questionnaires as far as possible the questions are personal and pecuniary natures should not be asked personal informations the personal information 
the this type of questions is not avoided by the researcher <coughs> then another one important factors instrument to the informant in information instrument to the informant the informant is a the informant instrument to the informant the question is to provide the necessary instruction to the informant necessary instructions how fill the questions what are the required data for the questions what are the required data for the questions these are the informations to be there in the instruction in the structured questionnaires then types of answer another important factor influenced by the drafted questionnaires these are the questions types of questions i type of answer whether it is yes or no or closed nature or open ended nature open ended natures so these are the type of answers is another one important factor another one important factors then questions recurring calculations questions recurring calculations the questions recurring calculations should be avoided even one example the researchers answered in the form of ratios or in the form of percentage or in the form of totals these types of question is avoided for drafted questionnaires drafted questionnaires the last one point the last factor for drafting questionnaires for attractions the attraction of questions the attraction of questions is more much important more much important the questioner is in neat nature is thoroughly printed they have to provide sufficient space for between the questions between the questions so these are the information <laughs> these are the informations relating to the drafted questions questioners the next kinds of questions kinds of questions in your structured questions what are the various types of questions involved in the structured questionnaires then first one open ended questions open ended questions the open ended questions is unstructured questions unstructured questions which you provide for free scope for the respondent to answers the free scope for respondent to the answers even for examples what would be the next choice that the present print be not available in the market that is the open ended questions the questions the answer the, an, the answer by the uh, respondent or make your own choice make your own choice that is open ended questions open ended questions another one closed questions closed questions there are structured questions the closed questions are structured questions which are provide two or more alternative response two or more alternative response the respondent they have to after the answer whether it's the first or second whether the first answer or second answers the question to be here two alternatives the respondent they make the answer whether it is first or second whether it is yeah, first or second that is a yeah, closed questions for example did you own a bike or scooter before car did you own a bike or scooter before car the answer whether either bike or scooter either bike or scooter that is a closed type of questions the next one types of question dichotomous are two choice questions dichotomous are two types questions the dichotomous questions can be answered one one of the two response or the one questions make a answer in two types answer in a two types for examples yes or no types yes or no types the advertisement make for examples 
the advertisement make a consumer to buy the product the answer by the respondent whether yes or no whether yes or no there are two choice that is two choice whether it is first or second that is first or second that is the dichotomous types of questions should be there in a structure questionnaires the next multiple choice questions multiple choice questions the multiple choice questions contains more than two alternatives more than two alternatives the number of alternatives should be there in a single questions that is multiple choice questions in the structure questionnaires for examples mention the purpose for which you use your mobile phone mention the purpose for which the which you for use the mobile phone the alternatives are there for incoming purposes that is the first alternatives for outgoing purposes that is the second alternatives for incoming and outgoing purposes for third alternatives for sms purposes that is a fourth alternatives for all purposes that is another alternative so the question should be there in a answer for multiple choice more than two choice more than two choice the respondent to answer any one type any one type so that is multiple choice questions next one declarative questions declarative questions the declarative question is a type of multiple choice questions the declarative question is a choice of multiple choice questions in which a series of statements series of statements there are more than two statements are there given in the subject one in the subject so these are the various types of questions in the structure questionnaires the next different types of questionnaires different types of questionnaires the different types of questionnaires in the sense the questionnaires should be make a type depends upon the nature of work depends upon the nature of work the structure of questionnaires number one structured questionnaires number one structured questionnaires the structure questionnaire contains definite concrete and direct questions that is a structure questionnaires they are direct posing to the respondent the concrete information to be contained the concrete information to be contains all questions are direct natures all questions are direct natures to the respondent that is structured questionnaire methods structured questionnaire methods for examples what is your name what is your name what is your address what is your name and address so these are the types of questions by structured questionnaires structured questionnaires the non structured questionnaires non structured questionnaires the non structured questionnaires to contain the partial completed questions partial completed questions partial completed questions the partial completed question in the sense the researcher they have to require information containing in the questions whether these are that whether these are that even for examples the one questions for containing the more than two answers more than two answers the third one categories of third one types of questions closed to form of questions closed to form of questions the closed to form of questions contain the questions to call for short or check response short or check response are known as closed to form of questions
for examples whether your job is permanent whether your job is permanent the researcher to post the questions whether your job is permanent to the respondent the respondent to make the answer only two alternatives whether it is yes or no that is closed form of questionnaires closed form of questionnaires only restricted for two alternative answer two alternative answers there is no further answers the next is open form questionnaires open form questionnaires as open form questioner is one which call for free response which call for free response in the respondent own words free response in respondent own words given one examples what do you feel about your present job that is a open form questionnaires what is your feel about the present job so the respondent they have to answer anything the respondent to answer anything that is open form questionnaires open form questionnaires then mixed questionnaires mixed questionnaires these types of questionnaire consist of both closed ended and open ended closed ended and open ended types all the variety of questions should be there in these types of mixed types of questions mixed type of questions the another one important opinion type of questions opinion type of questions under this type the informant opinion the informant opinion the attitudes and the preference regarding some phenomena regarding some phenomena in short that is opinion the opinion of the respondent the attitude of the respondent the preference of the respondent by the respondent to the answer respondent to the answers that is the opinion type for examples what is your opinion regarding introductions of new products introductions of new products what is your opinion regarding the introductions of new product in the market new product in the market that is opinion type of questions opinion type of questions then pictorials pictorial questionnaires pictorial questionnaires the selected alternatives the pictorial questionnaires selected alternative answers are given in the form of pictures are given in the form of pictures or pictures our pictures are uh, pictures that is these types of questions should be there in the structured form of questionnaires form of questionnaires then verbal questionnaires verbal questionnaires the verbal questionnaires the questionnaire which contains words or numbers the questionnaires should be there in the words or number that is a verbal type of verbal form of questionnaires so these are the another type the next another one important items what are the type of questions to be avoided what are the types of questions to be avoided what are the types of questions to be avoided number 1 leading questions leading questions the leading questions one the worded in such a way to influence the respondent to given the certain answers the researcher they have to post the questions to the respondent the answer to influence the questions so that is a leading questions leading questions for examples 
what do you like to own hero honda bike what do you like to own hero honda bike that is another one examples another one examples of types of questions avoided these types of questions is avoided then another one avoidable by the avoided by the researcher loaded questions loaded questions the loaded questions one that contains the word which are emotionally colored and suggested for automatic feeling of approval of or disapprovals approval or disapprovals that is another one avoided by the researcher for posting the questions for posting the questions for examples have you ever tried to got special favor from the business establishment were pressing them whether it is yes or no whether it is we shall know then another one important researcher avoided the questions ambiguous questions the same meaning for the repeated questions should be avoided the same meaning for repeated questions to be avoided by the researcher then double parallel questions double parallel questions they contains two or more different ideas the same questions should contains two or more ideas these types of questions avoided by the researcher in the question of preparations the next one long questions the long questions should not be contain in the researcher questionnaires all the questions short or simple form all the questions short or simple form then avoid double negatives the avoid double negative the questions is double negative will cause the confusions by the respondent confused by the respondent this types of questions is avoided by the researcher then hypothetical questions hypothetical questions the hypothetical questions also should be avoided by the researcher it should be avoided because they have little value and predict behaviors little value and predict behaviors for example if you have more fun you will spend more you will spend more these types of questions are avoided then embarrassing questions embarrassing questions the researcher posed the question to the expert head the respondent do not impressed embarrassing questions should be avoided because it will irritate the respondent irritate the respondent so these are the questions should be avoided by the researcher should be avoided by the researcher then <coughs> differences differences between questionnaires and the schedules differences between questionnaire and the schedules the questionnaire set and the schedule preparations the same steps to be taken into account by the researcher but there are some differences are there there are some differences are there in the sense of questionnaire the questionnaire are sent to the informant through the mail and filled by the respondent through the mail are filled by the respondent the respondent itself filled by the questionnaire it should be sent by the researcher to the post researcher to the post but i whereas the schedules filled up by the enumerators or researcher by putting the question to the informant in person informant in person so this other schedule is face to face conversation the information is recorded by the researcher from the respondent from the respondent so schedule is a direct 
method of data collection the questionnaire is a indirect method of data collections direct method of data collections that is the first difference of questionnaire and version rules first difference of questionnaire and the surveys in the questionnaire comparatively less expensive comparatively less less expensive the researcher only send the question to the post the postal expense is comparatively less the postal expense is comparatively less whereas the schedule is more expensive the researcher to spend more money and give the more time the researcher conduct to the concerned respondent is not more not easy it is directly met to the respondent in the schedule method of data collections the schedule method of data collections the third one differences the third one difference of the questionnaires non respond is usually high in the questionnaire method of data collections the non respond is usually high because the respondent itself part filled the questions the respond itself filled the questions some of the questions not understood by the researcher some of the questions not understood by the researcher there is no explanation is possibility by the researcher the question is set of structured nature is reduced to give the correct answer so in the questionnaire method of data collection non respond is usually high compared to the individuals compared to the individuals whereas non response is generally low because the researcher directly met to the concerned respondent the researcher directly met to the concerned respondent the researcher explain the questions they easily understand by the respondent the respondent they have to give the correct answer the researcher they have to get, take the correct data the required data collected is more comfortable from the questionnaire methods from the questionnaire methods that is another one important difference of questionnaires and intuitions then fourth one identity of respondent is not known the identity of respondent is not known for the questionnaire method of data collections for the questionnaire method of data collections the respondents not known by the researcher the researcher is not known by the respondent under the questionnaire method of data collections under the questionnaire method of data collections whereas in a schedule the identity of respondent is known because the respondent directly met to the researcher the researcher directly met to the respondent they are collecting information in face to face level so very known by the researcher and the respondent for collections of data through the intuitionals or the collections of data through the intuitionals the fifth one difference is consume more time for questionnaire method of data collections 
consume more time for question method of data collection because the researcher send the question through the posts many of the responded not reply for the same the questioner not written back the questioner not written back they have to taking much time for written back of people the questions to finish the collection of the data so the collection of data is more taken time for the questioner method of data collections for the question method of data collections for a schedule it requires lesser time the time taken is very less comparatively schedule method of data collection comparatively less time for data collections the sixth one difference is between questionnaire and schedules the personal contact or respondent is not possible here the respondent not met to the researcher the researcher not met to the respondent there is no possible for personal contact under the question methods but in schedule the personal contact of respondent is more possible because they are met and face to face conversations they are met and face to face conversations the seventh one this method the questionnaire methods can be used only when the informant are literate the questionnaire method of data collection only from the literate or educated or educated the illiterate not filled the questions the question method of data collection only from the educationalist or literates educationalist or literates whereas the schedule method of data collection when the respondents are illiterates because the researcher directly met and explain the informations or explain the questions the required data collected by from the respondent that is another one important differences the next one the questionnaire method to cover the wide coverage of samples is possible the wide coverage of samples is possible so the each and every question sent to the respondent through the post so the sample size is large is more viable for the questionnaire method of data collection but it is difficult to wide coverage of scheduled method of data collection the research is not able to met each and every respondent depends upon the sample size depends upon the sample size so these are all the various methods various methods sir various difference of questionnaire and interview schedules now i conclude my presentation anybody you want to query good afternoon sir good afternoon sir in uh, interview method how to assemble the uh, assemble the uh, answers and interview method interview method is a face to face conversations between the researcher and the respondent yes sir sir how to utilize that data sir the utilize the data the accurate data collected by the researcher from the respondent there is no ambiguity data there is no irrelevant data the accurate data collected from the respondent in present 
in persons that is a more usable in the research yes sir yes sir thank you sir thank you thank you very much professor thank you very much thank you mr thank you thank you very much for your valuable thank you for everyone uh, bro sir very nice presentation i am dr s mutukalpan ashan bro sir madurai kamraj university college sir thank very you nice sir thank you very much sir thank you very much sir thank you thank you sir thank you dr mutukalpan sir <coughs> thank you sir participants very informative session sir thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you sir dear yeah, participants the program comes to an end now may i request you all may i request you all to give your feedback share your observation thank you all thank you sir <coughs>
to give a wonderful session. Hearty congratulations to all the organizers who whomever have taken part in the session. Thank you so much for organizing such a great event. So good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is Dr. V. Palani Singh from Karunia University. I really thank to the Alagappa University as well as the Department of Commerce for so organizing a capacity building program. So that program is very useful for all the research scholars, budding scholars, faculty members, and especially those who are going to enter in the research forum. So this capacity building program they enhance their uh, research knowledge in terms of data analysis, data analytics, and how to write a review of literature, how to write a thesis, and uh, it's simply called as 360 degree of knowledge. It's given by the capacity building program. So, as I uh, mentioned, Professor Yam Salom, like length of the length, breadth of the breadth, and uh, depth of the depth. So, uh, I recall this information from the Professor Salom. So likewise, the capacity pro program was like this. So it gives the uh, full-fledged knowledge to flourish our uh, research knowledge in terms of statistical analysis, their inferences, and all those things. So I really thank Professor Dr. and Vinayamuthi sir and Kanapati uh, sir and uh, all the organizing teams. So it was our, it was extraordinarily. Uh, organized and well structured thank you sir may i sir good afternoon sir please madam introduce yourself yeah. please this is sir uh, dr nargis begum uh, associate professor from trident academy of creative technology from bhubneshwar odisha sir okay i feel very uh, privileged to be a part of this program my special thanks goes to Professor Vinay Murthy, sir, who has continuously been a spark of this program and has given us all the things that we require, starting from PPTs to the feedback links to all the essentials that we require in doing this program. And the things which are being provided by sir will not has not, not only helped during the program, it is going to help us in the way ahead in our research area. And all the research, uh, all the uh, all the resource persons who are involved, my respect to all of them, my namaste to all of them. They have very well deliberated the sessions and have extended their knowledge in such a manner that, starting from a fresh researcher to the experienced people they are going to be helped or they are going to be benefited out of it it is not that only the fresher who is new to the research area is being will be benefited the people who are already in research and are fighting with some problems like say writing of the review literature or analysis part for every part they are going to be helped i really thank to all the people all the organize all the uh, all the pe all the people who have uh, been involved in this program and have continuously means uh, uh, have motivated us to be there in time in the two sessions and every, every time has uh, um, in spite of our busy schedule it uh, their, their continuous you know follow up has made us attend the program i really thank to all the people and, and to all the resource persons who have helped us to learn uh, a lot from you all. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity which you have provided to us. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I am Abdul Ghaffar from Department of Library Information Science and uh, Alagapa University. So actually, this is a wonderful session, two weeks uh, capacity building program. Actually, I have also, I don't have also knowledge about this uh, questionnaire and uh, the methodology and all. So the nice experts and their um, thoughts they have shared. And uh, we are really their uh, uh, discussion is uh, valuable for us and it will be lead us in our research. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
सर वेरी गुड इवनिंग सर मूर्ति सर माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल सर ऑडिबल सर ऑडिबल ऑडिबल या सर मूर्ति सर वेरी गुड इवनिंग सर दिस आईसीएस सर प्रोग्राम इट्स अ वेरी एक्सेलेंट एंड अ वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव सेशन ईच सेशन इज अ वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव सेशन and from the day one itself and uh, today uh, so september uh, the 14 itself uh, 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 dynamic uh, faculties uh, dynamic faculties given a uh, dynamic lecturers so the uh, 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 whatever doubt we arised so all the doubt cleared from the resource persons and all the resource persons all are uh, Uh, well, good profile and dynamic uh, uh, resource persons. Uh, they didn't. Uh, one day I asked so many questions with uh, professor. I forgot sir name while doing in the analysis part, uh, but sir didn't show any angriness and simply started to answer for more than twenty five minutes. So this has a patience. I learned from you people and uh, this Murthy sir. Uh, the way you organized this program, and I used to see. Uh, I am from Telangana state. I am from Telangana state. I hope you are getting my point. I am Telangana state. Most of the uh, WhatsApp group, whatever the program conductor, first initially they start WhatsApp group. In that WhatsApp group, only permission for these organizers. Why? Because people unnecessary post other program registration IDs and these and all. But so many uh, participant post. But uh, even you didn't say a single opposite for them. But it's a very good attitude, sir. And uh, next time, if you can, uh, next time also you connect the same program. And only you just uh, switch off and switch on. In evening time, you switch on the WhatsApp group and you close it, sir. Because uh, some of the other uh, program unnecessarily they are posting. This is the one thing, and uh, I'm very happy to you the politeness and uh, very informative session from everyone, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, good evening, sir. I, I am Dr. T. Chitra, Associate Professor of Economics, Chitra Shri Achi College for Women, Pallathur. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. I would, I would like to record my sincere thanks to Dr. T. R. Guru Murthy, VC Officiating Committee member, member of Syndicate. senior professor and head department of commerce adagappa university and icssr program director really i am very thankful to you sir it's very nice program sir you are selecting a highly informative and interactive resource person sir really all sessions are very useful to us sir uh, thank you very much sir i would like to extend my sincere uh, thanks yes, to professor ganadi sir professor g nedumar sir dr m guruandi sir dr g vinayaka murthy sir and dr kanagalli madam for excellent coordination for the successful icssr sponsored program on data analysis and research methodology through virtual mode thank you all for the opportunity given to me thank you very much sir varga valamuda thank you thank you thank you sir good evening sir this is me suganya from malappa institute of management karikudi it is a well structured and very understandable for all the participants i like the way you made a space for all participants to interact thank you so much for organizing this effective two weeks capacity building program thank you thank you to all organizers and the resource persons legends thank you especially thank you for uh, vinay murthy sir and the entire team thank you one and all hello sir hello Yes, yes. Dear participants, time is very limited. Please be fast, please. Ah, uh, good evening, sir. Ah, uh, can I have a bill, sir?
వర్క్షాప్ <laughs> Uh, ICC are uh, sponsored. Uh, I, I may be uh, thankful to all other participants and all other uh, uh, lectures are thankful to give wonderful uh, information to me, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Thank you one and all, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ సార్ ఐఎమ్ సోమనాథ్ ముఖుటి ఫ్రమ్ వెస్ట్ బెంగాల్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ డాక్టరల్ రీసెర్చ్ స్కాలర్ ఫ్రమ్ సిధుకాను బిశ్వా యూనివర్సిటీ పురులియా యాక్చువల్లీ ఫస్ట్ ఐ కన్వే మై సిన్సియర్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు ద కంప్లీట్ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ టీమ్ మెయిన్లీ ప్రొఫెసర్ డాక్టర్ వినాయక మూర్తి సార్ ఆఫ్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ అలాగా ఫర్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఫర్ కండక్టెడ్ అండ్ Uh, that that particular very useful capacity building program and it was uh, actually an excellent program and very very informative for uh, all the sessions in uh, in respect of uh, the, every aspect of the research and analysis uh, um, uh, so uh, uh, my uh, my pranam uh, to all my respected teachers in every universities including alagappa university who has taken very useful informative and relevant classes Uh, if you uh, if you sir uh, conduct uh, any workshop seminar uh, conference in future please please inform me sir and uh, my sincere thanks to uh, thanks again and uh, uh, congratulations for all the faculty members of the department of commerce for grand success sir. thanks a lot thank you thank you so much thank you good evening sir good evening sir good evening please introduce yourself please <laughs> First of all, I thank you for making this wonderful opportunity, sir. It was a wonderful for me. It was more intellectual too for us. Especially being a research scholar, it was very in- useful for us. I, I, we need more conference like this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Sir, please introduce me, sir. Please introduce me. I am G. Ravi Chandran, Department of Commerce, PhD Full-Time Research Scholar, Peria EVA College, Sitchapalli. All sessions, wonderful presentation. Thanks to all the capacity building program. Sponsor uh, ITSSR, New Delhi. Member of Organization Committee, Dr. S. Ganabadi Sir, Dr. G. Nirmalan Sir, Dr. M. Guru Bhadi Sir, Dr. G. Ganagavalli Ma'am, Dr. B. Wonderful section, sir. Uh, especially thanks for the group, Dr. G. Mahamuthi, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Hello, sir. Myself is Dr. Vivekanand Ugaade from Karnataka, sir. Please. Actually, I feel happy. to attended ftp program for two week actually i got so much knowledge uh, regarding the all the systematics of um, sessions regarding the research work and all sessions are very informative and i got some knowledge from the one of the prestigious university in india that is a agapa university sir thank you all uh, professor and organization committee namaskara galu sir thank you namaskar thank you Any more participants, please? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, participants. Thank you. Now, may I request our honorable member, VC Officiating Committee, 
Sundar Sindhige, Senior Professor and Head, Post Coordinator, Post Director, Professor Dr. T. R. Gurumurthy sir to deliver validity address. Please sir. Very good afternoon, my dear participants. We have conducted the ICSSR sponsored faculty development program for the benefit of students, scholars, and teachers. For upgrading their academic excellence and research excellence. I take this opportunity to thank the authorities of the Alakappa University. I thank the officials of the Indian Council of Social Science Research. They have sponsored this program. They have funded this program. On the approval of the ICSSR, they have done this work to the students, scholars, and teachers. All the resource persons have done their work excellently. We are so thankful to the resource persons of this program. So all the resource persons are from outside the state, within the state and within the university. The topics related to research methodology, data analysis and research capacity building program are designed by a team of experts of Alakappa University. At this juncture, I thank all the faculty members of the Department of Commerce who have done excellent job on the success of this program. I thank uh, Dr. Runayaka Murthy, who is the co course coordinator of this program and she has coordinated all the activities of this program and the activities are so successful and all the participants have given remarks that the program is great the program is excellent the program is informative the program has provided relevant insight for the research, insight for the research proposal writing and thesis writing. I thank the participants. You have made this program a great program. Your greatness, your participation, your interaction, your involvement, enthusiasm, your initiative, your initiative and your encouraging response and your enthusiastic participation in this program and your involvement and your academic excellence and research excellence used to by you for interaction and raising pertinent questions related to the topic we have assigned for the specific program. So your support made this program a great program. There is no program without participants. The participants support their involvement daily. We find more than 100 participants for all the sessions. It's a great success. The participants paved the way for the great success. So we have only 18 resource persons, 
because the participants of 658 participants made this program a great success. So only one director, only one course code, the co-director, course coordinator, but participants are in hundreds because of the overwhelming response made this program a great, a great program. So we are so thankful to all the participants. We are highly provide our and extend our respect to all the participants. We pray God Almighty that the participants should ensure perfection in the days to come in all their academic and research training. So it is a great time. It is a great opportunity. It is a great blessing to the participants pursue this type of program in Alakappa University. We already discussed Alakappa University is a fertile land of academic and research activities. The fertile land we are using, the fertile land has extended all research and academic support to all the students and participants like you. So the Alakappa University has raised the name and fame to this program and the participants will be so happy in the days to come for attending this program in Alakappa University. All the programs are highly commended. All the programs are academically rich and research-wise it is comprehensive. The comprehensive capacity building program is provided by the Alagappa University to the participants. So participants utilize the program at their best. All the, all the time, they prefer the PowerPoint. All the time, they prefer the notes of discussion. All the time, they prefer the link. All the time, they prefer the discussion in class. So participants, it is a great pranam to you, a great salute to you, a great respect to you. So your involvement, your participation in terms of academic and research insights make this program a great capacity building program for the welfare of students, teachers and research scholars. So hope your participation will remain evergreen in our memory. Similarly, all the sessions and all the discussions and the academic and research input provided by our resource person will remain evergreen in your memory. So it is a great day. First day I initiated the program. In the last day, last session also, I interact with you. It gives me a great happiness, a sense of happiness. And speaking with you, it gives a great energy and that will be much helpful to have a great interaction with you and academic deliberation with you in the days to come. That will be the added advantage and added strength to the teacher. Deliberation with the teachers, delivering lectures to the teachers, to the students, to the scholars, add further input and energy to the teacher. So in this sense, organizing team of, of Lagapa University, the Department of Commerce is so happy. And I thank all the members of the Department of Commerce. Okay. Thank the University, thank the ICSSR, thank the Department of Commerce and Resource Services participants.
thank you very much we will meet once again in the days to come we will meet again and again and again i guru murti i pay great respect and uh, your participation is a great honor to us we salute to you thank you very much all the best wishing you all success thank you god bless you thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir so thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you and all for organizers so this time for a lot of thanks on behalf of the department of commerce kalyanpa university karikudi tamil nadu i would like to thank our honorable convener vice and associate committee dr d kartikeya nayas principal secretary to government department of higher education government of tamil nadu chennai i would like to thank our honorable vc associate committee members Dr. Swaminathan Sir, member of Syndicate at Alpha University, and I would like to thank our honourable member, VC Affiliating Committee, member of Syndicate, Senior Professor and Head, Department of Commerce, and Fourth Director of ICSR Program, Dr. T. R. Gurumurthy Sir, our honourable Registrar, Professor C. Shaker, our honourable Dean, Faculty of Management, Special Officer, Director, Alpha Institute of Management, Dr. Rajmohan Sir, and our honourable uh, Finance Officer, Alpha University, and Team of Administrative Staff of Alpha University. and i would like to extend my sincere thanks to faculty members of the department of commerce and organizing committee members professor s ganapati sir professor g nedumaran sir dr m gurupandi sir dr g kanagavalli madam dr b menaga madam and office staff sabha lakshmi and karthik for great support and cooperation special thanks to the director icsr and deputy director dr madhukar in charge pcb division icsr new delhi and i level officials of icsr for the valuable sponsor for this great online program which will be highly useful for useful for the participants to update the knowledge for their further research we are very grateful to the authorities of icsr new delhi special thanks to our respected director dr sindil rajan sir is always supporting us digitally and thanks to the ms technical team selambarasan mr sundar mr manigandan mr gautam and his team Special thanks to medium section, Mr. Bala, Mr. Arun, Mr. Pandey for their valuable help in maintaining electric power and generator support. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our respected resource persons, Dr. M. Selvam, and our vice chancellor of Bharathas University, Tishra Pandey, Dr. P. Nadrajan Sir, Pondicherry University, Dr. S. Rajmohan Sir, Alappa University, Dr. P. Mani Chowdhury Sir, former minister of Alappa University and principal of Rajiv Gandhi Commerce College, Arsan Science College, Kovilur, Dr. Jayapal Sir. Our department, Department of Banking, Alappa University, Dr. Panjalan Sir, Professor, Institute of Distance Education, University of Madras, Dr. K. Subramanian Sir, former Principal of Vidya Gananda College, Trivandrum, Madurai, 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 Sir Professor of Banking Technology, Pondicherry University, Dr. P. Sarvanand Sir, Indian Institute of Management, Tishra Pandey, Dr. M. Muthusan Sir, Professor and Head of the Department, Department of International Business, Alappa University, Dr. S. Srinivas Raghavan, Professor and Head of the Department, Department of Library Science, Oral Tamil University, Tishra Pandey, Dr. P. Mohan Reddy Sir, Professor and Head, Department of Commerce, Sri Venkateswara University, Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh, Dr. S. Ganapati, Professor of Commerce, Department of Commerce, Alappa University, Dr. V. Balachandran Sir, Dean School of Business Studies, Central University of Kerala, for their valuable concern and their amazing presentation with live interaction with our participants. Really, it is highly useful to all of us. Thank you very much to all of you. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to our respected participants all over India for their involvement and interest in attending the ICSR online program on data analysis and research methodology. From 3rd September, 2021 to 14 September 2021. Dear participants, really appreciate you all for your interest in attending this useful program. Thank you very much to all of you. Finally, I would like to record my sincere thanks for this appreciated committee. I remember our syndicate senior professor and head of the department, Department of Commerce, and fourth director of ICSR sponsored program, Dr. T. R. Guru Murthy Sir, for his sincere efforts in providing Google Meet link. It is highly useful for the participants and resource persons for useful interaction. On behalf of participants and resource persons, once again I thank our professor, Dr. Dr. Guru Murthy Sir. 
real credit goes to our professor dr priya gurumurthy sir for his motivation and encouragement thank you very much sir we will meet in another program in future thank you all thank you very much for your kind cooperation thank you very much thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much so thank you sir for providing an opportunity thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you all the boys thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir